time to revisit standard position. However, this time let's do our analysis in radians instead of degrees. As we have seen, we can convert degrees to radians to find the main points on a unit circle. Similarly, we can also be given negative angles and angles beyond one full rotation, 2 pi, in radians. So first, let's label our four axes in standard position. If you can't remember how to find these points, refer back to the radians lesson. Now let's work through some examples. Our first example, plot 3 pi over 4 in standard position. There are two approaches to this question. The first approach is to just convert 3 pi over 4 into degrees and go from there. The second approach is to try and plot it in radians using the axes we've labeled. Let's try the second method. So, 3 pi over 4, well, we know that is larger than pi over 2. And it's also less than pi. So it must fall in the second quadrant. Subtracting pi over 2 from 3 pi over 4 gives us pi over 4. So we rotate pi over 4 from the positive y axis, or our pi over 2 line, and then we can draw our angle. Next, we have plot 6 pi over 5. Let's try converting this one into degrees. So 6 pi over 5 times 180 over pi is going to give us 216 degrees. 216 degrees is greater than 180 degrees, but less than 270. So we're going to be in the third quadrant. Then we just go 36 degrees from the negative x-axis, or our pi line. Finally, we have plot 3 pi in standard position. Right away we can tell this is going to be more than one full rotation around the circle, because 3 pi is greater than 2 pi. So if we subtract 2 pi from 3 pi, we end up with just pi, which means we need to go pi from our uh, standard position, or 0. So 3 pi is 1.5 full rotations, and thus we end up at pi after one full rotation.